Hey, hello friends. Once again, welcome to Ramtub Academy. Please like and share the video with your friends so that they can also get the benefit of my work. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then visit the home page for all the videos and click here to subscribe so that you can get the notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, the same subscribe tab is available below this video. Just click there. It's free of cost. So in this tutorial, we will cover these two questions. What are catecholamines? That I will discuss in brief. Then my focus will be on how catecholamines are synthesized in the body. But before that, you must know the structure of the catechol. All the structures shown over here are different dihydroxybenzenes. So which one is catechol? First one is catechol, then second one is the resorcinol, and the last one is the hydroquinone. So remember the structure of the catechol which contains two hydroxyl groups on adjacent carbons and hence the IUPAC name is 1,2-dihydroxybenzene. Give the IUPAC names to other two molecules. Actually, catecholamines are monoamines and they are organic compounds which contains catechol and sidechain amine. There are mainly three types of endogenous catecholamines found in the human body like dopamine, noradrenaline and adrenaline. In all the structures of the molecules, you can find the catechol moiety and the presence of the amine functionality in the side chain and hence these chemicals are catecholamines and as they contain only one amine functionality they are referred as monoamines all of them plays a important role in the various brain functions and in adrenergic system first one is dopamine first one is the dopamine dopamine is synthesized and released in brain and it is a major neurotransmitter in basal ganglia, limbic system, CTZ, anterior pituitary. Second catecholamine is noradrenaline, which is also known as norepinephrine. It is synthesized in the adrenergic neurons and acts as transmitter at postganglionic sympathetic sites and in certain areas of the brain. Last catecholamine is the adrenaline, which is also known as epinephrine. It is primarily secreted by adrenal medulla gland situated on the kidneys and plays an important role in fight or flight response. Now let's discuss the synthesis of catecholamines. Do you know what it is? It is a phenylalanine, one of the example of amino acid in which these two positions adjacent to substituent on the benzene are ortho positions. Then the next one are meta positions and the last one opposite to the substituent is para position. Why I am telling all this? Because it is important to remember this while writing synthesis of catecholamines. So actual synthesis of catecholamines starts with the amino acid phenylalanine. In the liver, phenylalanine in the presence of the enzyme hydroxylase forms the another amino acid that is tyrosine. During this reaction, hydroxyl group is added at para position. Then, Tyrosine undergoes a reaction in the presence of the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase and forms the DOPA that is dihydroxyphenylalanine and during this reaction one hydroxyl group is added at one of the meta positions. Then in the next step DOPA in the presence of DOPA decarboxylase forms first important catecholamine that is dopamine. Name of the enzyme itself suggests us that there is removal of this carboxyl group during the reaction. In the dopamine, carbon directly attached with the amine functionality is called as alpha carbon and the next carbon known as the beta carbon. Then in the next step, dopamine in the presence of the enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase forms noradrenaline and this happens in the adrenergic neurons. During this reaction, hydroxyl group is added at the beta carbon. By the now, you must have understood that hydroxylase are the enzymes which are useful in the incorporation of the hydroxyl group in the substrate. Then in the final step, noradrenaline in the presence of the enzyme N-methyltransferase forms the adrenaline. During this reaction, methyl group is transferred on the nitrogen and hence the name of the enzyme is N-methyltransferase. And this reaction occurs in the adrenal medulla gland. Okay guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and share the video with your junior friends. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel it's a lot to me goodbye take care